Hi, I'm Danny Etkin. I'm representing the United States, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hi, my name is Anthony Damore. I'm from Quebec City, Canada. So I've been doing uh, martial arts for 18 years now. I'm training in a karate school in Quebec City, uh, where I've been training my whole life. I've been practicing martial arts since I was four years old, and I'm 23 now, so 19 years, and I've been competing uh, for 14 years. What I like about this, this sport is how I can create, how I can express myself, and how I feel free when I do it. What makes me great at what I do is because I create, I love to create, and then when I come on the mat, I do all this unique stuff that nobody can do. I'm one of a few people to win three US Open titles in the same night. I have about 40 plus world titles. The whole point of CMA is that you can actually do a little bit of whatever you want. So you create it and that's one of my fortes to actually create. I'll be using straight up nunchucks. That's my weapon uh, that I've been practicing since uh, 2009. Yeah, it's something that's kind of like a part of my being now, I think. You don't see that too much, where someone can compete in both the tricking and the weapons battles for a title match. We're gonna bring out the challenger, a previous title holder. Coming out of retirement, we haven't seen him on the adrenaline stage in quite some time. The legend, Danny Atkins. Yeah, it's a little strange to see him as a challenger, right? Like, this guy is an accomplished champion, decorated, yeah. sport martial arts, tricking, CMA, you name it. Yeah, Danny is a battler. Uh, he has been on these types of stages basically his entire childhood. Let's make some noise for Anthony Damore! Definitely has the upper hand in terms of adrenaline experience. Anthony Damore has been holding this title for quite some time. Yeah. He defended it last Adrenaline Games against Mason Bumba. Now he's going to defend it against Danny, if he can. Anthony it is... All right, master the at the double bow staff. Absolutely. This is going to be straight up Chuck seconds. versus double bow. He's been defending against guys above his generation, below his generation. This may be our most fire weapons competition yet. Now, look for Danny. Every combo that you're going to see is going to use tricking and chucks. He's going to do things that Such as swing pork both there. staff just can't do. Anthony will not be able to respond to anything Danny does. That's Danny's plan. Right. Because it's Danny is the tricking chucks. specialist as well. Yeah. There's the Webster catching the chucks. Anthony likes to let his weapon do the talking for him. You won't really see him do anything in the way of tricking for the most part. Now since... Danny's doing things that Anthony can't do. Clearly, Anthony's doing things that Danny can't do. So this is an apples to oranges type of battle. Ooh, look at that quick spin on that release. Strong finish with that, too. <laughs> Danny's having fun out there. Look at that. Quick 540 kick in the middle. That's now the really chucks themselves are kind of he a more dynamic the weapon. With the chuck, he already had a chuck in his hand and he still caught it. That's really hard to do. Yeah! Danny's super happy with the result there. It's up to Anthony to answer. Sometimes when you do something difficult, you gotta tell the crowd That's how right. easy it is. They just don't know. <laughs> Combining the bows together as one. That's and then splitting impressive. them back apart. Yeah. Happy with that result. Yeah, yeah, Little yeah, taunt. Yeah. Okay, Anthony. Danny with the hands behind the head. All right. Score! And Danny takes round number one. We're headed into round two. Competitors, you get one minute of rest. 